Hi there, I'm Dr. Dan, and we're going to discuss a little bit about uh, gluten sensitivity and sometimes uh, what people think are, are cures for this, that you know, if they do this, then they, don't, they can eat uh, wheat again without any consequences. So here's my take on this. Uh, basically, I discussed in another video about uh, Cerex Labs, and they do a 24 uh, panel profile on just wheat different variations of wheat proteins and, and effects of these wheat proteins. And you can't know these things just by feel. You know, you know really you need to do a blood test because a lot of these, um, a lot of these proteins and antibodies will cause problems but you may not know for 10 years or 20 years or 30 years. So, let's say that uh, you've done some energy work and I know I hear people who get treatment with uh, you know, things called the Bax 3000 or the Bax Aura or maybe an NRG machine. After that, they find that they seem to be able to, to go ahead and eat this wheat and it doesn't give them that uh, stomach problem or those issues anymore. Um, I just, uh, one of my patients just gave me uh, so a link to this one product. You know, you drink this one drink and, and it fixes you and so it's just an amazing thing and now, that, now this person can eat wheat again. So here's what here's my recommendation. Go ahead and try those things. You know, I'm not I'm not opposed to that, but um, you can't go by just one symptom because there are about a hundred different conditions related to gluten sensitivity. And how do you know which of those are are still a problem and which ones aren't? So I recommend that you go ahead and do your uh, energy energy work or whatever. Do your magic drink formula. That's fine. And then go ahead and eat your wheat, and if you find that you're just not having problems, then go ahead and continue. But I want you to do this, this Array 3 from Cerex Labs and, and see if those antibodies really are negative now. In fact, I would recommend you do one test before, do your uh, test, you know, test yourself on this uh, drink or energy work, and then after a couple of months, uh, run another one. And if those neg antibodies really went negative, I want to hear about it, and I want to see, you know, you know, email me those uh, the pre and post tests. That would be pretty exciting stuff. But what I'm guessing is that those antibodies are still going to stay positive, and just based on the way this thing tends to work, as we're talking about genetic disorder here, not uh, not an acquired uh, um, allergy. So if you're really um, you know, if you have that pre and post antibody test before you have positive antibodies from this uh, 24, um, 24 antibody test and now they're all negative, I want to know about it. I think that's pretty phenomenal. But my guess is that those are going to be positive. You just, you've just knocked the symptoms out. You just suppressed some symptoms and that's going to come roaring back someday and it's going to bite you real hard. And you may not be able to uh, work your way out of it next time. So anyway, that's my take on uh, these magic potions that make you uh, not gluten sensitive anymore. And if you've got better information, I'd be happy to hear it, but that's what, uh, what I think at this point. So thanks a lot for listening.